Hey, what's up, everyone? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome to the infectious madness of Dr. Decca. All right, guys, so this is kind of like one of those games where... It's an interactive... Interactive movie, almost? Video. Yeah, uh, if you guys have uh, heard, heard of Her Story, uh, it's similar to that, where it's, um, you know, real videos, uh, live-action videos of... Um, actors, and then you like ask some questions, and you discover a story and stuff, and you investigate. Uh, in this particular case, we are investigating uh, what happened with Doctor Decker, and we're talking to his patients, his uh, several patients that he has. We're gonna talk to crazy. They might not be crazy. Don't judge, Jinx. Maybe they just needed to talk we're to all somebody. Crazy. Yeah, I suppose we've talked about this before. We all have a little bit of crazy to us, guys. Uh, if you don't, then you're not human. Uh, so let's go ahead and start a new game, guys. We really don't know what we're really getting ourselves into now honestly you got people questioning their humanity and shit <laughs> i didn't say anything about that because <laughs> they don't have a crazy. like wait a minute i don't have any crazies i'm not a human oh my god you didn't They're know calling their mom up like mm -hmm. where did you find me you're an android that's been integrated like into alien, the population but... all right so let's go ahead and start a new game as i said we don't really know exactly what things i've gone loopy like some kind of spongy mobius strip that's why i'm here isn't it dr decker I can see people's dreams. I've uh, set up an experiment. My dad is trying to hurt me. Quantum suicide. Have you heard of it? If I concentrate hard enough, and I know when the person's going to be asleep, I can have the dream with them. Well, let's call him God. He creates this world for his amusement, something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. It feels like the paintings are watching me. Sometimes, when I walk through a door, it takes me somewhere else. Literally, somewhere else. God loves chaos, but something goes wrong. Man and woman evolve. What was once chaotic becomes well, more ordered. Starts as a door-to-door -door saleswoman. Double glazing, probably. Dr. Decker. I think we both know what you dreamed about last night. I've seen its silhouette changing through the window. Because he thinks I'm evil. Because I can see things other people can't. On the basis that the central component of our universe is chaos, science can only document a perception of the chaos at any one given moment in time. I did what you said, Doctor. They arrested me. Which means that, at any given moment, we can choose to alter our perception of the world. No matter how much chaos that would cause. I thought you were supposed to fix me. I'm telling you, it's eating people. And you're just laughing! You're insane, Doctor. Listen to me! You're not listening! It's your only bloody job! All right, well... guess we weren't a very good shrink. Maybe some of these are crazy people. I don't think we're Dr. Decker. I think something happened yeah, to Dr. Decker and we are investigating. And after all those promises, never mind, Doctor. let's not keep the pace. You're late. And after all those Doctor. promises... So I'm hoping this is going to be really late. trippy, guys. Because <laughs> we like trippy all stuff. Those promises, never mind. Not because we do drugs, it's exactly because we don't do drugs. We have no drugs in our life, so we need to have trippy games instead. Act one. Who are you? You're a monster. <laughs> I can already tell. Doctor, you're late. And after all those promises, mm, never mind. Let's not keep the patients waiting. And if you want anything, just... Oh, sorry. I forgot. I'm not going to be here. The police still have some questions they want to ask about, you know. And then after that, I'm dropping in to see Ben. He's still in shock, and I thought we'd show we cared. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? Good. Anyway, I hope you're all caught up on Dr. Decker's tapes. I think Mariana is in first, but I'm sure they'll all become a blur by the end of the day. I'll see you later, or tomorrow. Uh, probably tomorrow. I'll leave it to you then. All right, so, yeah, now we need to talk to all of the patients. 
Which ought to be interesting. All right, so this is Nathan. Looks like L1 and R1 switches the patients. Yes. So, Mariana? I think we're supposed to talk to her first. I don't know, though. I think Jinx just wants to talk to Mariana first. Be honest. <laughs> as soon as you saw Mariana, you're like, I I, I think we're supposed to talk to Not her really first. really in the runheads. <laughs> no uh, offense. <laughs> Ellen? Or Eileen? Is it Eileen or Ellen? I have no idea. Mm-hmm. I would think Ellen. Claire. Are none of these the patients that we saw in the original videos? Okay, so these are all different patients. Oh, okay. And then Bryce. Okay. He looks a bit twitchy. Yeah, a little bit. And uh, I guess if you want to start with Mariana, because Jinx really wants to. I thought she we was will, the first one we were supposed to We will to talk start. To. So we can ask any of these questions here, guys. Uh, we can also type it out. So as you saw, hello is an option, so we can type out, hello. How are you doing, Mar- Mariana? Hello. I'm Mariana. Are you feeling okay? And so that's what she says to hello. Uh, there's also hints. Uh, we can press with the down button. Uh, what does she know about Dr. Decker's murder? So that's what we're trying to find out. So Dr. Decker has been murdered. Oh, no. All right. Which so one of these people did it? We're trying to find out if anybody knows anything about it, anything important. Uh, so let's, let's probably just go with their questions. And I don't think you can access everything if you just go with their questions, though. So I think you might want to ask some for yourself. I'm not sure here, though. So, yeah, I'm feeling fine. Yeah, I'm feeling great. We're not here about me. That's what Dr. Decker would say. All right. Uh, Do you know anything about the murder, or why are you here? (laughs) That's kind of rude. (laughs) Let's ask her why she's here. Let's see what she's... What is she here to talk to Dr. Decker about? What's going on with her? Let's just investigate what's going on with her psyche. I think you're supposed to tell me what's wrong with me. Isn't that how it works? The police keep... Picking me up for public nudity. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> for public nudity. All right, that's fitting, I suppose. Um, why have you been picked up for public nudity? <laughs> I black out. And then the next thing I remember, I'm naked on the beach. Like I've been washed up on shore. Nobody's pressed charges yet, but I can feel it. The police are getting suspicious. Because she's a mermaid. Yeah, she thinks she's a sea creature. Mm-hmm. I have that happen to me as well, though, and I'm not a sea creature. I wake up naked on the beach all the time, um, and which is really weird because we live in Colorado. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm like, how the fuck did I end up? I always in... see people with boats and shit. I'm like, where are you going with that? There's lakes and rivers all over the place. Jinx is convinced there's nothing but <laughs> mountains here in Colorado. All right, so let's uh, ask them the question. Do you often block out or tell me about the beach? Let's ask about how often like, this is. How often are you, you getting nude? On? See, I told you Jinx wants to know. <laughs> Jinx has got a little... She's acting like she doesn't... look. She wants to know exactly where she's passing out naked so that she can be there. No. <laughs> uh, we know what's going on, Jinx. Blackouts, which is strange as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. Sounds like that was unpleasant. (laughs) Hmm. Well, what did he work out? Yeah, I want to know what he worked out. He eventually decided it wasn't anxiety, but I'm not going to tell you his final diagnosis. We should have a fresh start. I don't want you influenced by the prognosis. Okay. I wonder if we are not the replacement doctor... Maybe. I'm not entirely sure. yeah, why is everyone talking to us like we're a doctor? Mm-hmm. So, do you suffer with anxiety? Dr. Decker thought I had generalized anxiety disorder. GAD? Because of the blackouts. He thought I was breathing badly. Do you think I'm breathing badly? Well, she's a little flirt, isn't she? I think they found her in a bad porno. <laughs> the actress is. <laughs> like, how would you like to... Be in something where you don't have to take your clothes off. <laughs> so, do, like, yes. Yes, please. <laughs> well, we don't know that she's not going to take her clothes off. Let's not that's go true, too far. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know exactly what they're going to ask of this actress. Uh, do you know anything about the murder? So, I'm, I'm skipping this because I don't want to just hop right into it. You need a little bit of foreplay, I think, before you just hop into <laughs> the, the act. We, and let's get her trust up with her before we, we ask her these questions because she'll could just, she could just lie. Yeah, we don't know. Um, 
Let's say, do we think her breathing seems normal? We gotta play her game. All right, we'll play her game. You can check my breathing if you want. Do you want me to lie down? Can you tell just by looking at me? I'm not worried about it, just if you are. Okay, so yeah, she's a, she's a little bit of a flirt. We don't have the option to be a bad doctor, by the way, and have her lie down. We, wouldn't, we yeah. wouldn't take that option anyway because we are completely professional here at Praetorian Hijinks. Hell yeah. We'd never do that. And you'd never take advantage of your patients like so, that. So, about that beach. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx just wants to know about the beach, so let's get to the beach. I work for myself. I make bracelets from things I find on the beach and sell them online. I spend a lot of time at the beach. It's just way more relaxing than anywhere else. You should come with me one day. I can show you all the sights. Is there no sun on beaches in Wales? Well, because she's a gingy, <laughs> I assume she uses a lot of... Uh, like sunscreen? Protective sunscreen. Yeah. Because or like one of they, those body suits. If, if you are a gingy, a lot of times they have a, they, they burn a lot easier. Uh, so, yeah, I know my sister is one. Yeah. Like, she can't go in the sun. Yeah, I, I bet it sucks. If you're a gingy out there, let us know. How much sunscreen do you go through a month? I imagine it's it's rough. And the 100 SPF is so expensive. Yeah, it's it's expensive. Maybe holding your breath makes you black out? <laughs> yeah, sure, that would... Uh, I'm not sure holding my breath too long is causing blackouts. I mean, it could, but I don't remember ever having a blackout when I'm holding my breath. Maybe because you black out. Do you remember <laughs> having a blackout? Who holds their, their breath until they black out? Eh, crazy uh, people. Yeah, I guess. Well, now you're just calling every single person in the, in the watching the well, video I that does that. I used to do that when I was a kid. Yeah, but you're crazy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so what are you doing before you're blackout? I normally black out when I'm dancing. I like dancing. Do you like dancing? So they're always trying to ask questions about you as a doctor mm -hmm. which this is not about you this is about them uh, so you never want to like play into the game um while you also want to remember remember that you're trying to look like a person too that they're talking like, to where do you dance yeah so we're just gonna ask questions about them we're not gonna we're not gonna play the game here uh where do you dance maybe dancing causes blackouts um yeah where do you dance i dance a lot at nightclubs i know most of the nightclubs around here my favorite is the Pearl because they sell cheap vodka shots all night. Maybe, Maybe it's the alcohol. That's why you're blacking out. Or yeah. Too much ecstasy. I don't know. Yeah, let's. I would assume the alcohol. I don't drink. All right, well, so she's a pathological liar. <laughs> yeah, that's a bit weird. Well, she never said she drank the alcohol. She said she likes going there because they oh, sell. Oh, maybe she gets dudes drunk. Yeah, maybe she gets dudes drunk. And drags them off to the beach and, and feeds then, them to the Kraken. Exactly. I think we've got this all figured out. You think my dancing causes my blackouts? No, I know it's the last thing I remember, but I don't think it's that. Sometimes I remember more, but... I'm tired now. <laughs> Is that it for today? All right, so that's not it for today. I'm sorry. What prognosis are you looking for? I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help? Stop picking up dudes at clubs and taking them <laughs> to the beach and fucking them? I don't know. All right, so have you tried to film your blackouts? Oh, yeah. Can someone watch you when you blackout? Yeah, these are these are all smart smart options. Oh, the last one's kind of creepy. It is kind of <laughs> creepy. It'd have to be somebody you really trust. Can you um, really trust anyone, though? I know, because your best friends would draw penises all over your head. So, yeah, well, yeah. if you're a lady, <laughs> they'll let dudes drag you off. <laughs> yeah, true. Yeah. Will you do it for me? Will you watch me to see what happens? Well. It's like, not me, but you know. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. That would require us to like go out with her and stuff. Uh, I mean, I guess it makes sense, though, to watch. We're a trusted person. in a controlled In a controlled setting. medical setting, yeah. So, it's a date, then. God damn it. I'll let you know when. 
It's not a date. You're going to get fed to the Kraken. Yep, now I'm going to get fed. Mm-hmm. Have you tried to film your I Kraken? I film myself doing um, lots of things. But it's not so easy to do when you're blocked out. So she's a cam girl as well. We're learning all about this lady. <laughs> <laughs> Films herself doing lots of things. All right, so that's why she's so oh, flirty. Yeah. She mm -hmm. used to doing it for money. Do you know anything about the murder? Yeah, and let's just find out the question we've been, you know, avoiding. Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? You've replaced him. He was a good listener. I hope you are. All right. Mm, that's it. Why was he a good listener? Dr. Decker could really get inside you. It was uh, unsettling. But you let him do it. Part of the process, I guess. Really get inside you, huh? Well, okay then. Like, yeah, I like dancing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, is she a good swimmer? Oh, so yeah, we don't have all the questions available to us. That's right. So we're gonna have to we're gonna have to type some of these in ourselves, guys. Um, so let's ask: Is she a good swimmer? Uh, it's gonna t require us to type in some stuff. No, that's are okay. Are you a good swimmer? Oh yeah. <laughs> is she, yeah. Like, I probably who don't want to talking about. <laughs> yeah, you're who right. Who is she? Yeah, you're right. Geez. I'm gonna kill that bitch. I'm over here, like third person in this shit. All right. Are you a good swimmer? Uh, so nope. They don't have that option available up there. So this is there. originally a PC I'm a great game. swimmer. I won all these medals at school. I can hold my breath a really long time. Too long. Really. All right, let's see if we have another hint. Um, I think there's a, uh, a little timer you have to wait. I believe we have it set at 90 oh, seconds. So that's the okay. average yeah, time before we can get the hint. Um, you can actually see it down there at the bottom. I think it's actually, hmm. All right, let me just see here. What's this one? Oh, here's more questions or something. I think that's our history. Oh, this is our history. Okay, mm -hmm. got it. Can we like click on them to see? To oh, and we can rewatch them. The got it. All right, so what's this one? Perhaps Mariana should stop going to the beach or have somebody watch or record her. Mariana has blackouts. Does she remember anything during sustaining any injuries? So these are all things we might want to ask her about. Um, maybe does she remember anything during? I don't know if that's going to be too advanced of a question. Uh, or do, excuse <laughs> me. <laughs> I'm going to be doing that the whole time. Do you remember anything? Anything during, what, during your blackout? I guess, yeah. yeah I don't know exactly what you can kind of get away with. And typing anything during the blackouts, maybe, right? Yeah. The black. But yeah, this was originally a PC game, guys, so you had the keyboard where you can type it out really easy, you know? Um, obviously. Is that one word, blackout? I think so. Okay, it looks like it. All right. Do you remember? By blackout, I mean, I don't really remember anything from the time I black out. I'm lucky to be alive, I guess. Yeah, I would say you are yeah. quite lucky to be alive. Because uh, you never know what can happen when you're not when you're not conscious. Um, I already asked about the watching and recording. Um, sustain any injuries? That'd be a good question. All right, so let's ask her that. Uh, hmm. Do you have any in injuries? Are you injured? Do you wake up with injuries? I think it's going to pick key words oh. rather than like a whole sentence. Because... It would be impossible to get the exact sentence mm -hmm. uh, correctly. I mean, not impossible, but you can see how that would cause issues. So I think it like picks, you know, keywords out. Um, do you wake? With, <laughs> do you wake up with injuries? Is what I'm trying to say here. Do you wake up with injuries? Luckily, I'm not too bad with the PlayStation thing because you know I actually from talking to you guys on PlayStation. I'm confused. Which bit should I answer first? <laughs> All right, so she registered that as two separate questions or something like that. Um, can you just put, like, injuries? <laughs> yeah, maybe. And will it, like, register that? Because maybe that was two keywords? No, nothing like that. I usually wake up on my side like I've been sleeping. 
Sometimes I'm partially covered by seaweed. So that's why you avoid gives seaweed. more credence to <laughs> the sea creature or mermaid. You can't just ask her though. Are you a mermaid? <laughs> yes, we can. So it looks like it goes off of like keywords. So <laughs> we don't really need to type so the whole sentence out. Tell me what out. you know about mermaids. Mermaid. I don't know about that. <laughs> she doesn't know about mermaids. All right. <laughs> Uh, she's been uh, secluded all her life. All right. Well, I think that's all the ones that we have here. Um, so let's just take a look if there's any more here. There's just the dancing one. Uh, what does she think about Decker? Oh, yeah, that would probably be a smart question. Did you like Decker? We really need to be better about thinking of some of these. Uh, thinking up with some Were of these ourselves. Were you romantic <laughs> with Decker? <laughs> we'll ask that after we ask. What do you, what do you think about him? Did what? he touch you? <laughs> uh, what do you... I would have asked how she felt about him. Yeah, I guess that makes more sense. How do you feel? Oh, I don't need to delete that. How do you feel? I guess it should be past yeah. tense, but because he's gone. So you're like, I don't know. <laughs> and then it's two Ks? Yeah. More than one question. Damn there. it. Break. There's not more. Okay, feelings. how about just Decker feelings? <laughs> we got this. It's like, I don't understand. Dr. Decker was fine. He had good relationships with his patients, as far as I know. I'm not sure why anyone would want him dead. Did you want him dead? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm gonna ask her. Did you? What if she has a mental breakdown? Want <laughs> Decker dead? She's gonna be like, "There's multiple questions there." <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I don't understand. Doctor Decker was. Uh, I guess it's registering as the same. Yeah. Perhaps. All right, so if you had already asked a question that would have the similar response, then they, they play it and they let you know that, you know, you've already seen it. All right, um, I guess we can we go can for another hint here. Hint. Can she earn enough money selling things online? Are you a bum? <laughs> no, she's a cam girl. <laughs> Are you a cam girl? <laughs> I don't know if it would pick that up. <laughs> oh, this kind of reminds me of that conversation that we had with the cam girl bot. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> on the, on the PlayStation, the PlayStation yeah. Network? Yeah. Uh, we had a cam girl bot contact us, and we wanted to see just how much uh, how in depth you know the program cool. was. Yeah, and there was it was actually quite surprising, guys. There was there was a lot of programming to that bot. You knew it was a bot. It was very readily apparent it was a bot. But there was a lot of programming where it could answer certain questions that you wouldn't expect it to. It was actually a lot of fun. I think we played around with this bot for like fifteen minutes, guys. I think it might have been longer, but you think so? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she doesn't know she's a cam she's girl. She's a liar. That looked like a lie, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, did. All right, so now we know she's a cam girl, so uh, we've confirmed that. What was the other question we were thinking about? What did it tell us to ask? Prostitution. Oh, can she earn money? <laughs> what does it say, money? Yeah. It's like, are you doing all right? It's early days. The business isn't doing that great, but I really enjoy my job, if that helps. You can make a lot of money, or you can have a lot of fun, but you can't usually do both. Kind of sounds like YouTube. Yeah. You know, we have does. fun doing it. Um, you know, for our early days, we didn't make any money. Uh, and then we slowly make more and more money, but of course, even now, we still have to work regular jobs. Uh, so, we got another hint. Is she flirting with me? That doesn't seem professional. That doesn't seem... Of course seem... she's flirting with you. Yes, we know she's flirting with Let's not play into that. So, we're kind of stuck now because we can't use that hint. And just um, tell her that's enough for today. Yeah. You get lost. <laughs> hmm. Injuries. We should Wait a minute. Up with that. Yeah, that's that's indicates that it's a follow up. Should follow this up. Okay. So, what did she say? We'd want to follow. She said she usually up? wakes up like on that. her side. I usually wake up on my side, like I've been sleeping. And then seaweed, right? Yeah. So let's ask, ask about, about the seaweed. seaweed. Oops. Why are you covered in seaweed? Oh, there we go. I know it'll be up there. That's not really helping with my blackouts. 
Okay, so that's not. <laughs> like, why don't you go get some seaweed, grind it up, <laughs> stick it in a blender. <laughs> I know it's a little slimy, but just down that shit. I'm sure you used to. When I wake up on the beach, I normally feel refreshed, which is weird, right? I'm not scared. Not yet. I just want to know what's going on. It's actually pretty normal to feel refreshed when you wake up. I'm not normal. When I wake up, I'm just more tired, and I don't <laughs> want to get up. Uh, but yeah, a lot. I think a lot of people would say they feel... Especially the beach. It's mm -hmm. very rejuvenating. So we followed up the injuries. That's the only one... Oh, wait a minute. What prognosis are you looking for? It has a follow-up as well. We have the, where do you dance? Oh, what are you doing before you black out? Oh, let's ask her about the pearl. The pearl? I yeah, the club. I normally black out when I'm dancing. Okay, the Pearl? Yeah. Alright, that's the name of the club? Mm-hmm. Let's try it out. It's like, is it at the beach? The Pearl is great because the people are so relaxed. I think that's got a lot to do with the cheap vodka shots, or maybe it's just the black lighting. Who knows? Black lighting. Right, is let's, she epileptic? Let's take a look at the vodka. I want to see... I'm going to ask about the vodka. And just, I like to talk about vodka, honestly, guys. Oops. I don't have an answer. <laughs> My bad, guys. I tried to get the uh, top one there, and I clicked R2 instead of uh, whatever you're supposed to type. X. I don't drink. Okay, so yeah. We had already asked about that. Um, all right, well, let's take a look at our past again, because I saw a few things that we can follow up on. Now, I wonder if the... Yeah, see, this one here really wants us to follow up on it. So what is I it that... I normally black out when I'm dancing. I, I figured like we'd ask about the black light. Do you like dancing? Oh, I guess we can ask about it, I suppose. So black light? Or black lighting? Or backlighting? Was it black or back? I don't know. We'll just ask about black light and see if it picks that up. I have no idea about that. <laughs> it must have been backlight. It was backlight. Maybe we should look before we... Um, what was it in? Pearl? The Pearl is great because the people are so relaxed. I think that's got a lot to do with the cheap vodka shots or maybe oh, it's, it's black just lighting. black lighting. Huh. But maybe you gotta ask black lighting. But maybe this is not even relevant at all. True. Um, I can do black light. I would think that it would be though. If it might be. blacking out. That doesn't really mean anything. No, it no. doesn't. Uh, Jinx is thinking too hard on this. Uh, it, are we still going to get the same hint? I should answer yes or no. <laughs> I just don't think I should play along with that. Let's tell her we like dancing. Okay, fine. Yes, I like to dance. Oh, I dance to anything with a beat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that did that me. did unlock the next set of questions here. Um. All right, so yeah, we got a lot of questions we can we can ask her. Now we can continue talking to her, or we can move along to somebody else. Um, there's a lot of other people to talk to. I think I think we should move to somebody else. Let's move to who do you want to talk the to? Twitchy fella. The twitchy guy, Bryce. Bryce. All right. Oh, well. that seems dark. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Let's talk to this trippy guy. All right, we'll talk to him. Uh, so who are you? I'm Bryce Hemmings. You must be the new doctor. Did you know Dr. Decker? Okay. This guy's a serial killer. <laughs> no, I, I didn't know him. He was an antagonistic psycho. I hope you're not from the same school of thought. Okay, so this guy is going to be interesting in a different way, I think. Because he did not like Dr. Decker, apparently. Mm -mm. No, he didn't. I'm worried about him throwing that coffee cup at me. <laughs> it's probably tea, actually. Probably. Uh, so, what do you think of Decker? I think we got a good idea of his opinion of Decker. but I didn't really like Dr. Decker. And for quite a few reasons, actually. I'd rather talk about my own problems for now, though, if you don't mind. Okay. Um, so, what's your problem? Originally, I was suffering with depression. Work was piling up. I, I kept missing deadlines. I wasn't used to all the failure. I got depressed. All right, so he was depressed. What is your job? I'm a grave digger, Doctor. And people are dying quicker than we can bury them. 
Well, okay, oh, then. so he just got substantially more creepy. <laughs> this is one of those grave diggers that you don't really want them around the bodies of your your loved yeah. ones. All right, so why are you depressed? You'd think being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. All right, I have to see what the extra hour is. The extra hour. But you know, this guy here, look at how scrawny this dude is. He's not digging all day. Yeah, that's He's true. talking shit. He's one of the ones who doesn't want to use a shovel, this scrawny little dude. Uh, so I'm curious he just about wants the extra to burn hour. Them. Yeah. At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. So that's the period that he rapes the bodies. Uh. Yep, he thinks that all time is standing still and nothing is uh, moving along here because, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to go there, guys, but it's like, what do you mean? That's that's my leading theory right now. What do you do? Yeah, I guess we'll ask them. What do you do <laughs> in the extra hour? In the extra hour, I mainly catch up with work. It's a godsend. Sometimes I play chess against myself. It relaxes and strengthens the mind all at once. This guy is extremely thrown <laughs> off, and all I can do is look at his teeth. I know, me too. Yep. I would know that he was British even if he didn't have an accent. Um, I don't know if that's a true thing. Do British people truly have... I know it's the joke that British people have uh, bad teeth or whatever, but to is it true? To be fair, though, at least they have teeth. Like in America. Yeah, here in America, <laughs> down in the South, yeah, they don't have teeth. A lot or of people. in the Midwest, you know, everybody's got meth issues. And that's not entirely true everywhere you go, but yeah, go to Oklahoma. Oh, Lord. I was I was doing my basic there, and the majority of people I met did not have all their teeth. Yeah. Uh, so, what do you mean by midnight hour? It's a bizarre thing to know you have an extra hour every day. I rarely ever sleep until after midnight now, so I can appreciate the extra time. I get a lot of work done in that time. I'm completely caught up. The depression is no longer an issue. 25 hours is a blessing for me. But apparently, it's not real, and I'm insane for thinking it is. What do you think, Doctor? I think you're crazy, but I agree that 25 hours would be so I fucking helpful. I think you helpful. should enjoy your extra hour, but maybe not tell everyone about it. Yeah. <laughs> we can't even tell him that we think he's insane, because I'm sure that would yeah. fuck up the whole thing. But yeah, I don't think you're insane. I thought it would be too early to make a diagnosis, but it's good you're having a go anyway. See, oh. he thinks you're incompetent. Now he thinks I'm incompetent. <laughs> All right. Um, so why is it hard to find someone who can use a shovel? Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. Okay. What kind of relics? Well, I'm, I'm assuming, you know, you know, things for historical relics. Uh. I stumbled across a relic myself. An ancient chess piece. A queen, I believe. The best chess piece. The most freedom of movement. But they took it away immediately and proclaimed the whole east side of Henley Church a protected site of archaeological importance, which means we're not allowed to use it until the archaeologists have finished. I wish I hadn't told anyone. That's usually people's problem, is mm -hmm. that they run their mouth. <laughs> yeah. Um, here in the U.S., we don't have, obviously... We don't have as much history as, as in Europe. Uh, you know, we don't. You're not going to find as many things in you know archaeologically. Um, but we do have a lot of things from Native Americans, uh, and, and you, you're not allowed to pick that stuff up. Like you, you can't take that from mm -hmm. the area. You can get a lot of trouble. So you, if you do, you should probably keep your mouth shut about it. <laughs> what are these little? I'm trying to like figure out. You see the little bubbles on the side of Bryce's name here? Yeah. It has you know the three different levels? Does that? have anything to do yeah okay oh, okay is that like rapport yeah perhaps mariana is, is yellow with us how right close now. you are to unlocking them yeah that's what i'm thinking 
All right, well, let's see what else we have. Tell me about Henley Church. Henley Church is relatively small. Well, for the number of bodies they expect us to pack into the ground, it's relatively small. The whole building was once owned by Scientologists, but they handed it back to the community as a tax break, I believe, or they'd finished doing whatever it was they wanted to do with it. Scientologists, huh? Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Uh, do you believe in Scientology? I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God. Not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? I do think. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. It's very difficult to, uh, to choose. Sure. Then we agree. Have you watched Zeitgeist, Doctor? Some of it is believable. And the part about most religions stemming from the same basic facts... It's more likely they've all got it wrong than one of them has got it right. Exactly. He's got something to it. And because we agreed with him, we got him to yellow. All right. So we're starting. That was start a lot quicker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't you like He would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. He was getting worse towards the end. I'm surprised he didn't kill himself. Mmm. Maybe he mm -mm. did. Yeah, I don't know. Or maybe Bryce did it. He does seem to have some very uh, strong feelings about it. Do you know anything about his murder? Yes. Dr. Decker was murdered. Kel surprise. Murder does seem a bit harsh, doesn't it? And another grave to dig. I know as much about it as you do. Less, I would imagine. I don't believe him. Burying people does seem like an odd practice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just packing them into the ground. Yeah, I mean, I guess it is because you're using up room that could be, you know, And like I, I want to be either buried under a tree somewhere in the middle of fucking nowhere or burned. Because, yeah, I don't want to be packed into some ground surrounded by people that I don't fucking know or like. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, and they had a leg all up on your hip. <laughs> 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 Luckily, we put, our, we put our people in boxes, of course. Uh, which then, yeah, we're burying good wood. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so do you like chess? I like chess. I still play sometimes when I can find an opponent. There's nothing more satisfying than planning scores of moves in advance and then watching things unfold as you saw them. I shouldn't have told anyone about the queen. All right, so I love chess as well. Uh, that's And that is the problem often is trying to find... Uh, somebody to play with. Uh, I need to get the kids learned up on it. <laughs> so I'll have somebody to play. Uh, why do you like planning moves in advance? I think this is a pretty obvious question. I do like to be in control, but then I suppose most people do. Nobody wants life to carry them along helplessly. Everyone wants to kick against it and make their own way. Do you like to be in control, Doctor? I don't think everybody does. I don't. Some people <laughs> just like to flow along it, like the wind. Just let the wind blow them wherever life happens to, you know, pull them along. Wherever the wind may take you. Exactly. Uh, yes, I like to be in control. No, I don't like to. I personally like to be in control of my life. Um, but yeah, so we're going to say that, I suppose. And he's a doctor. He's a psychiatrist. Yeah, and so he would definitely like psychiatrist, to be in Yeah. If you like being in control, you'll have a tough time here. I saw it with Dr. Decker. Such control, such stability. But he unraveled at the end. All right. How did Dr. Decker unravel? He couldn't keep control of everything, of everyone. He just set us up like dominoes, but we all toppled in unexpected ways. You'll find it all out in time, Doctor. Just not today. Can't have your head exploding, can we? This dude tries really, really hard to be creepy. <laughs> Perhaps you should ask someone else like, a question. Well, that's enough out of you, Bryce. All right, let's see. Why does he think Dr. Decker would kill himself? So that's an option as well. Uh, we can say, then we can go ahead and look at this here. Um, perhaps Mariana should stop going to the... Okay, so this is all about Mariana, because we never finished the Mariana yeah, stuff. Yeah, true. Uh, which they clearly wanted us to. Um, so what was the, the hint? It was asked someone else a question, wasn't it? Was that the hint? No, that's oh, what this is. no. No, there's a hint. Oh, oh why, why does he think he Dr. Himself? Decker would kill himself? Decker. Oh, we got a nice little uh, entry in here. Suicide. Suicide. I'll try suicide. 
Um, I don't know if it's going to register that or not. We'll see. It seems almost like Decker is its own question. He wasn't a good man. I don't know how he could live with himself. Perhaps he couldn't. Okay. Hmm. All right, so we don't have any other further hints. Do you have anything you might want to ask him about just popping in here? Uh, no. Just What if we just typed in Decker? I'm sure it's going to come up with something we already asked. No. Sorry. I don't know. He doesn't register that. He's like, whatever. I don't know who that is. Uh, who the fuck is Decker? <laughs> All what right. were we talking about again? <laughs> <laughs> so we could go to another person, but the episode's almost over, so I want to go back to Mariana because we know that we have a lot of questions with her. Uh, so we're going to go back to her. We'll just cut to the chase. Are you fucking flirting with me? <laughs> Do you ever find your clothes after the blackout? Oh, I never find my clothes. I don't know why I'm naked. Okay. Is your hair wet when you wake up? Oh, we got some good set of questions yeah. here. Really investigating. When I wake up, my hair is dry, but it's pretty hot at the moment. I get baked quickly by the sun. It's possible I've been in the sea during my blackout. True, true. She could have dried up by that point. Uh, why do you think people will press charges? Because you're fucking naked <laughs> in the beach, but we'll ask. I guess people see me and call the police. But someone will take offense eventually and I'll be charged with indecent exposure. Okay. Um, why do you hold your breath so much? I hold my breath when I'm swimming underwater. Most people do. Sometimes, if I'm really excited, I'll hold my breath accidentally, just for a few seconds. I don't know why. So essentially, she holds your breath when everybody holds your breath. Why is she so fascinated about talking about holding her breath in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been a patient here? I've been a patient here for three months. Today is my patient birthday. Do I get a cake or something? No. <laughs> Wouldn't a patient birthday be like a year out? Yeah, you'd think so. Yeah. <laughs> we no. can tell her no. You don't get no fucking cake. No, sorry. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Why do you keep going to the beach? I love the beach. Until somebody tells me it's going to kill me, I'll keep going. Have you ever been addicted to something, Doctor? Well, everything. Everybody has been addicted to something. Um, coffee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I suppose I'm addicted to coffee. Sure. I thought so when I first saw you. We should get on great. We didn't say cocaine. We said coffee. <laughs> we said coffee. <laughs> Uh, so how does this all make you feel? Look, you're not listening. Aww. Yeah, because that's the classic psychiatrist question. Yeah. How does that make you feel? <laughs> like, fine, you can have a fucking cake. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, there's also a little entry here. So Marianne has been through a lot. I wonder how this all makes her feel. We just asked that and she got irritated. Perhaps Marianne's show, let me just see here. All right, so there's nothing else here. Um, what we might want to do is take a look if there's any other. Uh, how long have you been a patient? Hmm. All right. Oh, okay. That's about the patient birthday, about the cake. Is your hair when you wake up? What are we going to follow up on this my one? My hair is dry, but it's pretty hot at the moment. Hmm. I get baked quickly by the sun. Ask her what she means by baked. It's possible <laughs> I've been in the sea during... Okay, well, how about we do C and then we'll, t we'll t ask about baked. If this is like, a reference to right marijuana. Now? I go swimming in the sea. I don't always black out. Okay. Baked? <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't mean anything to me. Doesn't mean anything. Looks like a lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I, I think that probably uh, fulfilled. Yeah, the is your hair wet question yeah. is just C. Um, what was the what prognosis? Oh, okay. Let me just take a look here at the. So how long have you been a patient? That's the birthday question. Yeah. I guess we can we just can tell her whether or not she can have a fucking cake. What should should we? No, you can't have a cake. <laughs> I guess. You're not getting a fucking she's cake. She's gonna get all sad and shit. But she's not getting a cake. We shouldn't True. lie to her. That's okay. I wasn't really expecting one. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
You never know what she's going to say that. I guess we can ask if she's flirting. I didn't think we should go there, but... Wow. Let's get straight to it, then. I'm not sure I feel comfortable speaking with you about that at the moment. She's playing cool. Mm-hmm. All right, so we finally got to the point where it's saying, yeah, we should ask somebody a different question. Uh, and that is actually the end of the episode, guys. Um, so, yeah, pretty interesting uh, little thing here, kind of digging into these people's personalities, trying to discover uh, what they know about the murder, and I guess we're their new doctor. So we're trying to, to shrink, heal them. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's kind of... I know that the Dr. Decker thing is kind of a, one of the... Uh, moving elements of it to try and move the story forward but i think that there is an element of like trying to like help your patients and stuff uh and actually being a psychiatrist to the game i'm not entirely sure like i said we're kind of just hopping into this and we're learning with you guys uh so yeah we're going to continue playing this it's interesting i want to see where it goes next hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did make sure you leave that like subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you know when we put up new videos uh go check out some of our other content we got a lot of videos on the channel if you're interested in this particular game it's been available on steam for a while now like over a year um jinx wanted to switch the character there <laughs> <laughs> so it's been on steam for a while uh so you can buy it there and i don't know the price on steam but on and i'm guessing it's a similar price to on playstation uh, on ps4 it's currently 13 dollars, but you can uh, it's got a discount if you got a playstation plus if you're a playstation plus member and you can get it for like 10 bucks it's like 20 percent discount or something like that uh so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this and uh thanks for joining us